All right, before we get into what's next, I want to point out here that I added 18 more lines of code to our little game here. That's all just 18. And you'll notice that there are now different kinds of spaceships. Instead of one spaceship, there are three, three different kinds of spaceships. And they fly in at random speeds and they speed up over time. The other thing you may have noticed is that if they're coming from the right-hand side, now they're turned to face the right, and they weren't doing that before. Also, the planet has uh, it can only take five hits, and each time it takes a hit, it gets dimmer and dimmer until finally it is dead. So it, it's more of a complete game now, and I, all I did was add 18 more lines of code. Okay, so what next? Play around and experiment with this. Go back through these videos and start messing with the code. Grab your own artwork, uh, find some online, put it in. In fact, the first version of this game showed a little heart in the middle and candies flying at it, and you had to protect the heart. So just change the artwork, change the way things fly around a little bit, and you have your own original game. Now, for those folks who like hands-on instruction, I also have a much more comprehensive course called Beginning Mobile Game Development. Now, this is a complete course. It's more than 50 videos, and I cover the concepts in detail and at a much slower pace than in this crash course. It's not free, but I think it's the best bang for the buck out there. I hope you've enjoyed this game development crash course, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of games you end up making.